Let's talk about life after death. The word death literally stands for door to the ether. And that's because death is not the end, it is the beginning. People often ask me what happens when we die, but what makes you think that you are actually that which dies? We have a body, mind, and soul. We are both matter and spirit. The material part of us is seen and is temporal, but the spiritual part of us is unseen and is eternal. We are the soul, not the body. We are the soul energy that exists beyond the body. We are not the person that we see in the mirror. That is just the vessel for the entity that is you. We are entities that are energies. That's exactly why I say the body is electrical. Your body needs angstroms. Your soul powers your body. We can tune into higher frequencies by doing good work like being nice to people, by serving the virtues. This is a way of balancing out the wrong you have done by spending the rest of your life spreading love and light. Gain as much karmic points as you can. This will allow you to access heaven or a blissful consciousness, which is a perception that is filled with grace. We do not want to die with anger, fear, hatred, jealousy, or sadness in our hearts because this will weigh us down. And this will keep us stuck in the reincarnation cycle here on earth. When people say YOLO, you only live once, they are wrong because we have infinite lives. It's literally up to you if you want to graduate from earth. If you want to ascend to the next place, you need to be virtuous. You need to become angelic. If you're allowing the vices to dictate your every action, you are becoming demonic. There is no demons running around willfully making you do things. It is your own choice. You are the choices between your actions. And that is why karma is real. Karmic retribution is real. People love to say, that, oh, the devil made me do it. Stop externalizing your problems. Be accountable. And you keep on praying to this big man in the sky to save you. You're externalizing all of your power. Once you claim what is yours, the Christ is within. It is not something that exists outside of you. Both God and man have a twofold constitution of which the superior part is invisible and the inferior is visible.